My hair looks super 80s. Mm, mine too. <laughs> Today, we are going to my cousin's wedding. So we, we told you we have a special occasion that we're going to today. That's why we came back to Connecticut. Austin's cousin is getting married today. So my little my little cousin, she's not little anymore. But you remember when she was born, right? I do remember when she was born. That was a big, big event. Um, yeah, she's all grown up now. And I, her husband I've known since he was little. And uh, yeah, so it's, cool. it's very cool. So they're getting married. Uh, the reception is at a farm. Are you excited to see that? How they do it at the farm? Yeah, I'm really excited. That's part of why, I mean, part of why we're showing it on the channel right now is because like, hey, it's an on-farm wedding. Uh, her, my cousin Hannah, her soon-to-be husband Teddy said there's cows. I've been promised cows. <laughs> so I'm gonna look for those cows. And uh, the kids are gonna be all gussied up and uh, gonna be a lot of fun. Could be a possible venue for a lot of farmers or homesteaders, this, the farm to table, the farm a wedding is a very popular movement right now. So we're gonna go see how they do it and uh, take notes. Because we have a pretty nice venue out in Pennsylvania, maybe we could. Stephanie from Castle Hill Farm. Uh, we're at the wedding right now, uh, but we're, right now we're just taking a look at the actual farm because we couldn't help but like ask questions about the farm while we're at the wedding. The wedding's going on in the background, uh, but we got Stephanie and she's answering a bunch of questions about the farm, uh, about the business, and we're gonna get into that in today's video, so stick with us. Okay, my name is Stephanie Poprosky Kearns. And I'm Danny Kearns. What's and your farm? this is our farm, it's Castle Hill Farm. Um, it's in Newtown, Connecticut. And it is a family-run farm uh, of five generations. Our daughter, Charlotte, is our fifth-generation farmer um, at Castle Hill Farm. Yeah, so, we met in high school, and then yeah, yeah, but the, the farming farms, definitely pulled us together, and that was the... Farms were something we had in common, so uh, it definitely helped. It um, wasn't FarmersOnly.com? It wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> we actually announced that at our wedding. <laughs> As a disclaimer. <laughs> we do a lot here. My dad, Steve, um, and my mom, Diana, they run the farm and they keep it looking the way that it is. And we bale hay in all of these hay fields. Um, we plant corn. We plant pumpkins. Um, the, probably the biggest thing that the farm does is we have a pumpkin patch and a corn maze in the fall. Until recently in its history, uh, it was a dairy farm. Yep. And. Um, it was a working dairy farm. It was the second to last working dairy farm in Fairfield County. Yep. The idea for ag tourism was was due to the fact that it uh, needed to transition from dairy um, mm -hmm. into something else. Something to, to kind of keep it running. Keep it going, yeah. Yeah. Because the um, price of milk was down and it was just really hard to... You feed cows grain and the price of grain so high. Very hard you to have... forecast your business when right. the price of milk is controlled the way that it is. We bale hay here. We do about 6,000 bales a year. Um, not just here, some neighboring properties also. Um, we have the corn maze, the pumpkin patch. Mm -hmm. We do about 20 acres of corn total. Um, and we have right around 8,000 Christmas trees also. Oh, yeah. And everything just keeps expanding. Every, every the, year, everything, everything gets bigger. We, we get have busier. two locations for our Christmas tree farm yep. now. Um, I think really the thing that's building the most is the agritourism though because we started doing some special events at the farm like showers, um, we do birthday parties here, 
Um, and now here we are doing big weddings, uh, which is really fun. It's nice to share in you know, these different families and how everyone kind of comes together at a wedding. I, I enjoy it a lot. Um, it's a lot of work, but we enjoy it. It's well, you've got to like people, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like people, then uh, you might have a tough time doing that. But um, certainly is a uh, is an option if you have if you have the land and you have the property. Mm -hmm. um, it's something that's worth thinking about, and it's one of those things you don't know until you try. So. I don't know the exact percentage, but it's definitely a large portion of what we do now. Uh, it was just the route we had to go was, was ag tourism. Um, and we still do a ton of traditional ag, but we've mixed in events with that. We kind of um, like sharing what we know and what we have with, I mean, our community. Um, that's why we do the pumpkin patch and the corn maze. That's a great thing. We just started doing a, a vegetable stand or a produce stand um, where we have, we grow our own vegetables. We have some uh, eggs. We do a little bit of some grass fed meats. Um, but that's starting to build more and more every year too, which is which is great, and it's nice seeing how many people find our farm and and come and kind yeah, of share in what we do. That's a pretty cool part. Is uh, you'll be either at the vegetable stand or here uh, during the corn maze pumpkin patch season, and you'll get people from as far as uh, New York City, Boston, New Jersey. Um, so it's just amazing how they find us and they make their way here. When people find the corn, then they find the produce, then they find the you know, the ag that we do, which leads to the pumpkins and the pumpkin patch. Yeah, it's all connected and the ag tourism absolutely uh, helps with the traditional ag as well. <laughs> Whole family is involved in the, in the uh, operation. My dad runs the farm uh, pretty much, he does everything. Um, my mom has always supported the farm and she helps out. She does a lot of the gardening, but too, and I have a sister, Shannon. Um, who is a nurse, so that's her full-time job, but when she's not working as a nurse, she does a little bit on the farm, too. It's funny that I jabbed a little bit in there, because she just does a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> she does a lot for us, though. She does a lot for us. Oh yeah. my gosh, yes, with Charlotte, with our daughter. She wa she'll watch our daughter so that we can be out here playing. That's what, that's really what I call it. <laughs> so. Tell us real quick, just a little bit sure. about the yeah. pavilion here, and this time I'll we'll walk it. Sure. Okay. So walk us through it here. What are we looking this at? Stephanie's like, baby here so I'll let her do most of the talking. Yeah um, this is our pavilion uh, we built it we had it built last year um, by our neighbor who's also our friend um, so he put the pavilion up the old weather vane on the top of the pavilion uh, came off of one of our old barns um, my dad picked that out and put it up there. We'll so, say the weather vane has to be adjusted though. I did adjust it. Oh she adjusted it. Okay. I adjusted it. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, and some of the wood that's on the front of the pavilion that makes the design is from old wood that was in our barns that was milled from the hills when my great great grandparents built the farm. So, I mean, just to tie everything together and have all those sentimental. It's nice to look out here, uh, like right out our window and, and see this out here um, up above the trees and stuff. It's pretty mm -hmm. cool. We have a Facebook, a Twitter, and an Instagram. Uh, that are all Castle Hill Farms, so you can check us out there. We post a lot of live videos. Um, we always, I mean, we try to post some pictures here and there when we when we don't have our hands busy on the farm. We try to keep everybody in tune with what's going on like today at the farm. If you're interested in events, we do um, anything from weddings. Um, I mean, our venue can pretty much hold up to 300 guests, give or take. It's a good Pinterest place to have weddings or vintage, rustic. Do we do baby showers? Wedding showers, we anniversary of, like, parties, birthday parties. We do a lot of birthday events, parties. events, like whatever yeah. you want to do. Uh, that's what we do. We've had uh, corporate events here. We've had uh, really anything. First week of July, give or take, we're going to open up our farm stand. But the opening date will be posted on our website, again, which is castlehillfarm.net. Um, you can also subscribe to our newsletter for updates of when that is actually opening. That was cool. great, guys. I You're love so it. Fun. Thank you. So much. This is a side that you just never see on the channel. We are like, half of us are a giant Latin family. And you can uh, guess which side. Yeah. And we just are dancing and line dancing and merengue and bachata. 
My time to shine. You're on Homesteady. What do you want to tell everyone? This um, is your chance. Go follow Homesteady on Instagram. Yes. And YouTube. What's your subscribe. Instagram? Come on, man. Plug uh, yourself. That's go follow works. the pigeon underscore 56. That's my sister. I'm so pretty. That's my cousin. <laughs> and go. Yeah. Follow pigeon 56. P the Wait, pigeon underscore 56. No. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Wow. He's got it. Pick the nose. Pick my nose. We've and hit the little bell, bell notification and to be alerted every time a new video comes <laughs> He's out. On. You know, man. You've been YouTubing? Yeah. Like, YouTube. subscribe, and comment. You know it. You know it.